Now that we've learned about viruses and vaccines and how they work, we're going to move on to the next lesson, which is the whack a virus lesson. So here's where we're going to first utilize Wyville, and it's a great application for how vaccines are made and how the adaptive immune system works uh, that you learned in the previous episode or video. Um, so we're going to start by logging in. You can have your students log in through Wyville here. Now I will be playing by myself for this session. However, as students enter the same room, they'll be uh, placed in the same game room and therefore uh, they'll be playing together. Um, so uh, you need to find your way to the Bioplex. You can do this by uh, the little Taurus bus destination tab here, or if you click on the map, it's located in the right uh, bottom corner here in the Bioplex. So we're going to enter the virus lab. And then you have got your whack of virus game located right here. And it'll place you in room one. Now there are separate rooms and separate levels, so they can get into their own rooms and levels. You can split it up into groups in your classroom that way. He's going to repeat some instructions here, but I will, you know, of course, repeat them while I'm playing the game. And we'll kind of talk about how viruses are detected, um, how your immune system responds to those, and how those principles are. are displayed in this game here. So the object of the game is to defend these cells that are going to pop up from the invading viruses that are going to be in these various color assortments. So here's our cells. And when the cells get infected, they're going to create different, or they're going to, like infected cells, they're going to create more viruses, which then can infect more cells. So I'll go here to my antibody. And I'll actually rotate it to match the leading edge by using the left and right arrow keys. And then our macrophage is going to come pick it up and destroy it. So you're just going to go through here and you can just flag these various ones for destruction before they meet up with your cells. So I can go here, rotate it, and then go place it there and they'll flag that for destruction. You can talk about a variety of... <clears throat> epidemiological functions such as that not all viruses that are introduced to the body actually infect the cells because of location. You can of course talk about how the viruses are very similar in structure to the antibodies, which again is no mistake. We talked about this in the uh, previous video. Sorry, it's difficult to play this game and talk to you at the same time. And you can also talk about how antibodies are generated, they first have to be introduced to the body, and so on. And of course, once you feel that your students are comfortable with this game right here, you can go to the different levels. Oh no, I'm about to have a cell infected. And I just in the nick of time got that. So that's the basic overview of the game, and by j uh, clicking this tab here, you can jump into different levels of the game. I think that this game yields a lot of interesting discussions about how antibodies are similar to the viruses, how viruses are detected in the game, what happens to the cells when they're in invaded by the virus. This allows students to explore what happens if they fail, um, how antibodies are made, particularly when you get into the level twos, and <clears throat> how macrophages um, make various proteins in order to detect and ultimately destroy antibodies.